Hello everybody, thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video and kind of go through the planner um, that I have pretty much completed uh, the January, um, month of January. Um, I didn't do it all on camera because, you know, everybody's got their own way of, of thinking and what they want to say in their planner, what they want to keep track of in their planner, running or walking or uh, just, you know, all kinds of things. Movies you want to watch, that kind of thing. So make yourself a category for whatever it is that you need. So mine is pertaining to um, journals and um, and to my YouTube channel and maybe Facebook. I'm not sure. I'll probably put some stuff in here about Facebook. But anyway, I just want to quickly go through it. This was a, a hardbound book and I... Uh, if you haven't seen it before in my there's two prior videos actually three um, that I ripped the pages out of this and was able to um, lower the page count so that we could get uh, these pages in I, I didn't do um, very bulky pages you could but you would have to take more pages out of your book because um, you wouldn't want it to be too big that you can't write in it you know if it's too thick so um, the first page here these pages I left blank I don't know what I'm doing yet but I just left them blank there I made this little um, ribbon coming down uh, to use as a bookmark on the pages um, this is seam binding and uh, this is the first uh, page of January so I just made it like a collage and I think yeah there's a little pocket here uh, let's see a little pocket there if I wanted to put a note or you know something special in there let me see this might fit better if I fold it so that you don't have to do that but that's what I did I put that little pocket right there then I made my own tab um, that says January so what I did was I took the uh, pages uh, the page that we received from uh, uh, collage type in the kit for the planner and I just downsized it to 35% and I was able to make a little label that I could just put on a homemade tab um, so if you want a tab you can if you don't you don't have to you could just put like a circle right here uh, as you go down maybe just put the initial of the month you know J for January so then on this side here um, is the calendar that comes in the kit and it's kind of divided in half so you just need one spread here and you get your whole calendar at in one view so that way you can see you know Thursday the 20th and the Friday the 21st and whatever days you want to um, see at a glance and you can write notes on this side this is in collaboration with um, Taddy Treasures um, she has a YouTube channel and I will have her link and or hashtag uh, Taddy Treasures you can hashtag and find everything about her um, also uh, Denise at Junk Journal uh, UK is doing it and again I'll put her as a hashtag and that way you can find her um, uh, collage type is in my link tree if you need to find where the kit is I'm sure you could find it if you just type it in anyway in Google. Sometimes it's easier to find things on Google than it is to go to Etsy because it just is, it's just weird. If whatever you type in, they don't go there. And so if you Google it and then click on Etsy, you know, uh, when the name comes up, you'll go right to her, uh, her uh, shop. Okay, moving on here. Um, trying to think of all the things I want to say. Okay, so this is the first, um, this is the Monday in January, and I've, instead of doing each individual day, which would have taken up a lot of uh, pages, um, and I don't think I have that much to write about in each day, but you may, so you may want to do every single day of the month in one, uh, you know, one on each page. 
And I think uh, Denise is doing that in her journal. She's doing like a spiral journal. And it was an old planner, I think, or something like that. And it even has pockets in it. So she's able to utilize that by just covering the originals. So there's a lot of great things that you can, you know, get the book started from. And like I explained earlier, you don't have to have a whole year worth of book. Once this is done, I'll try to stop where I wouldn't start another month. Um, but then I can just find another book and, and continue on from there. And then maybe on the, um, you know, inside page I can put from January to um, March, you know, whatever amount of, of months I can get. Okay, so back to Monday. So the 3rd, 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st are the Mondays. And um, the 3rd of this Monday coming up, is it this coming up Monday? The 1st of, of January. Uh, Tatty Treasure Challenge starts. And I just wrote that so I know that it starts that day. And um, I'll explain later on, you know, what the videos about but it's basically kind of UFO sort of thing and that is um, House of Milano as her um, YouTube channel will explain some of that to you too she's one of the administrators for Taddy Treasure's Facebook page which is Taddy Treasure Facebook I mean Taddy Treasure and Friends Facebook and there are some of these um, in her uh, free in her Facebook uh, page. Uh, if you go there, you can find out how to get uh, some of these downloads for free. I don't know if these were in it or not because I just bought the kit, but I did download the free ones too. Um, so anyway, that's what I did on this page and I marked this like one and a quarter inch um, sections and I just ran a pencil across there it doesn't bother me that that pencil's there because, like I said, it is for me. Um, next month, I think I'm going to run some stitching um, zigzags or something like that to divide the pages. Anyway, um, so this is Tuesday, and I just did a little decor up there. I kind of want to do something on these corners, but I haven't um, done it yet. And then we have Wednesday that I finished here, and I put some Tim Holtz... Um, washi tape here so this is 5th 12th 19th and 26th and then we have thursday 6 13 20 and 27 and this side is friday 7 14 21 28 isn't that cute how it all adds up uh saturday i did this little leaf on the trim on the edge here and i put some lace and it's good and flat you know it's and this is flat and then here's the other uh, days that are all on Saturday and then we have Sunday which I messed this up and you guys saw that I had to tear it off but I I used it anyway so I just hid where it ripped by putting that bird and he's kind of like in the way of this section but you can just write around him um, and then here's the rest of that month then on this page I put um, ideas so for instance I see a video or something or I see somebody do something, or I have an idea of my own, which is rare. Usually I see it somewhere else. Um, but I can jot it down and maybe just jot down where uh, the video was because I will see something. I don't know who did it. I don't know what, I don't know. YouTube just, you know, they scroll along and they put up a pop up a video out of nowhere. And you see something and you don't pay attention to who it was. And after it's over, then you've got to go to history. So it's just, you know, more trouble. So, but if I do see something, then I can obviously um, write it down and then keep track of that. And like I said, in January, I'm probably not going to have that many ideas. So I have this amount of space. And then down here I have the challenges uh, for this month or a few months, depending on what what people are doing. I don't have any other challenge except this one that Tatty Treasure does. If anybody wants me to do somebody's challenge, uh, let me know because I don't, I'm not sure. I tried last year to um, keep up with the challenge, the hand stitching one, and I would love to do the one that Rachel's doing, but I just can't guarantee I could sit down and do that hand stitching. And, um, 
yeah, so that's my problem is this I can do it through the whole month any time. I can do it one day, all of it, or I can do every couple days, and it doesn't matter. I just have to share uh, four pictures per week. I mean, yeah, four, no, four pictures per month. There's four weeks. Okay, and I just threw this paper clip in here because that way if I have ideas and I have um, too many, I can um, just put them under that paper clip. I was looking for a, a um, altered paper clip, but that'll work for now. Okay, and then, oh, that's all connected. Okay, this one here was um, the little uh, envelope that it's a, actually a, a bag, and um, this one I'm going to put receipts. So here I have my first, well, this is for December, so I can't really use it, but um, this will be in case I need to file taxes next year, um, selling journals and stuff. So anyway, that's what that is, receipts that go in there, and then, I don't know, I just put these little pockets on front. I might write notes in there or something about receipts. Then it turns over here, and I can write also on the back of this. I just hinged it on here. And then I have my a shopping list here. I have two because I know I need more than one shopping list. Um, so there, there was a label in the kit that said shopping list, which you could have done the whole page to write on and just put, you know, shopping list up there. But that's the way I did it. So hopefully I don't have too big of a shopping list because that costs money. Um, this one here is viewer tips. I so many, so many times people uh, who watch will leave a, a comment. Um, just Mary just left me a comment on um, how to get my words lined up if I'm missing a letter. And I'm not sure if I can figure out what she said because she said, I hope you can understand this and um, I'll have to give it a try. But um, yeah, and and other people too. They constantly just giving me a little tip here and a little tip there and, and then I forget about them, you know, and then I don't use them after I've gotten the tip. So I feel like this is something I can jump back to and take a look and see what somebody said um, and maybe what video it was on because a lot of times I don't remember the video that they're referring to that I that I have. Um, okay, so then I made an envelope out of her paper and put a paper clip there. This is that, um, oh darn it, glued shut. Why do I do this? Come on, come on. I do this all the time. Okay, so here's that little envelope. And I just thought um, if there was other more tips that I can't fit on here, then I can just write a note. A lot of times I'm sitting in the other room and I'm not going to have this in front of me. So I can write it on a note, stick it in here, and then, you know, put it somewhere else. Okay, this is giveaway. Um, I'm not sure what, um, why I need this exactly, except that I do want to start giving giveaways. And in fact, they won't be, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, full journals. They might be a little mini journal. They might be the giveaway, maybe just some ephemera that was made. You know, I'll just put something together. And I am just going to do this giveaway um, from the comments that I receive that whole month. So during, let's say, the month of January, I will go through the comments, I will write your name down, and then I will just pick at random, uh, you know, have my phone pick somebody. And that's how you would win it. I'm not going to say, you know, you have to comment on this, you have to do this, do that. I will just go back through the month and find the people that commented and of course the more you comment the more your name will go into the drawing okay um so that's the last page here and so in case i wanted to put another page i thought i could always just um put a um attached page over here a flip type thing and that way i could add another page to the journal if i want I also thought, um, I don't think I have anything handy. Um, let's see. There's some coffee dyed here. I also thought if I needed more pages, I could take the elastic 
like this and I can run it and it would go out outside the back of the book and then I could I could stick pages in there that I wanted to stick in there so that's just another little tip if you want to add more pages later um, yeah just get this elastic and you can you know tie a knot and you're good to go um, okay so let's go back to um, this page and I'm gonna pick a date for um, well I don't need to pick a date do I because I'm talking through the first of January through the end of January okay so I'm gonna put giveaway Okay, and then I will probably give it away. Oh, I don't have February. I was going to say what day would I actually give it away. So let's say, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't have a date. I don't have a calendar in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oops, I'll just look at my phone real quick. Um, calendar. That's not a calendar. That's a calculator. I can't ever find anything. Where's my calendar? Because I don't use it very often. Alright, let's go to January. Let's go to February. So we'll end it on... Um, I'll do the drawing on Friday, February 4th. Okay. So I'll put draw... February fourth okay and then we'll have a drawing in uh, February so we'll start in February and um, yeah so there's a little giveaway every month and like I said it's not going to be um, anything extraordinary it's just going to be something that I can make up and I might get in the mood to make a journal and give a whole journal or I might get in the mood to um, do a folio or something like that okay uh, to give away so that's it for this um, part of this um, full uh, this planner and then um, the February kit is already um, on uh, collage type uh, her Etsy channel it's already there her Etsy store I should say and so if you, you want, you can get January and February. Or you can just get January now and get February later. She also has a journal kit to match this, which is called a Winter Shadow Kit. And then she also has a Folio Kit to match this. So if you want to do, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And this is um, what I had left over. I mean, look at all of this. I had, this is from another, um, this is a, a Patreon thing, I think, um, that Tanya sent me. So, yeah, there's just tons of little goodies, and there was, you know, this stuff here, you can reprint it all, all day long if you want, but this was just left over. This is the one I shrunk down. I had to use a whole piece of paper, <laughs> but it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. Okay, so... Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm going to try to do another video. So I have one coming up. Um, another one starting back on the um, William Morris um, video. But I'm thinking I'm going to get this up uh, today. Um, which is, what day of the week is it? Thursday. And then I'll try to get up one um, tomorrow. But with my mom being... Um, the way she is I just don't know what days I can work I don't you know I have no idea I'm waiting for the doctor to call me right now I don't know why they can't call you back but um, they took x-rays and we're waiting for the results she's still in pain it's been two more day, two days now since we've been to the doctors so um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video bye